really feel like we just need Spider-Man to come in and save the day. East Highlands f***ed up. <laughs> You're like a relationship kind of girl, right? You guys can all judge me if you want, but I do not care. I have never, ever been happier. We're going to do some euphoria superlatives today, starting with who is the best dressed this season? I would so oh man, everybody looks so good all the damn time. Maddie. I would say Maddie too. All the honestly, all the all the girls show up and show out. I mean, obviously, minus me, Maddie. Maddie. Yeah, Maddie for sure. That whole sixties vibe. Yeah. The first party that that they have in in season two, I saw her outfit. I was like, okay, girl. I think we all had really great looks this season. Because right now I'm looking at a thousand versions of myself, and not only do I look good, I feel good. Who has the best style in real life? We all have really, we're very distinct and different. So yeah. I think we all have really incredible style. I think that's why we're able to have the style we have on the show, you know, along with our incredible stylist, Heidi. I think we all bring something to the table when it comes to that. So I think we all have great style. It's just different. I'm also really Wonka today. Um, <laughs> Bodybuilding Versace, Sydney, Fendi, that, yeah, we're just... <laughs> why do you look like that? Like what? Like a country music star. In a good way or a bad way. Bitch, you better be joking. I was gonna say Eric. Eric has one of the best watch and sunglass collections and sneaker collections oh. I, I've ever seen. No, but you wear it so well. Marcel has the most swag out of anyone. Oh, Marcel does. Marcel? I mean, you can't buy swag. You could throw a pillowcase on the guy and he would be stuck. Yeah, I agree. I absolutely agree. Angus is the coolest in the world. Hands down. I agree. He's the fly guy, you know? He's the fly guy. You, you look f***ing amazing. Who's the biggest class clown behind the scene? Jacob. That's not true at all. I want to say Jacob. I know, me too. Uh, I want to say Jacob. Really? I think so. Uh, Jacob's cracking jokes. I'm just not around to hear them. <laughs> yeah. Wait, guys, we're totally forgetting Eric Dane is the funniest oh, person okay. on Eric earth. Dane. Hands down. Hands down. No one beats him. He's so funny. He's so, so funny. No, stop it. There is one thing. This was an accident, but Eric was driving out uh, in his car and it was really late at night and we were all like delusional at this point and we were shooting at the gas station and he he like crashed into the fence wall and it was so funny. I did, I drove a car into a fence, but that's only because it was either that or the camera. And I didn't know what we had gotten already on that camera and that magazine. So I chose to run the car into the fence. He's uh, not the best driver. <laughs> Uh, had a few bumps and tumbles, you know, uh, with stunt cars. What well, was a tight driveway? <laughs> they were asking me to do something that I may or may not have been <laughs> capable of doing. I had to jump back real quick. <laughs> no, you didn't, dude. I would have definitely missed you. I'm getting a bad reputation. Really. No, no, I think maybe it's, I think it's good. I've just had a really long week. Whose performance surprised you the most this season? I feel like we didn't get to see enough Maude season one and season two, she really like, she kills it. And she really, I think, blossomed this season. I was gonna say Maude because like both Lexi and Maude are quieter, like more small, like sweet. Um, but we get to see Maude act in ways that I've never seen her act in real life before. And that was sickening. Okay, this is it people. Showtime, let's go! I did see Austin do a grand performance, and so that was fun to watch. And I remember sitting there just being like, this I was like, and I, it wasn't surprised because he's an excellent performer, but it was it was like this this moment of like, like, like it made me so excited, you know? I mean, like, is one of us gonna get hurt? Yeah. Probably. Which character other than your own would you love to play? I'd love to play Fezco. I just think he's a cool ass character. I would have played Lexi this season. Well, I don't know if I can say why. Well, like, I think it would give it away. Well, she's in charge and I like to be in charge. <laughs> why do I want to play Nate? I feel like Nate's like the opposite of my character. This could be a nice, fun challenge. 
<laughs> I'd love to see you try. I'm coming for Nate's role. Do it. <laughs> I'd love to play Rue. I want to know how her mind works. I want to play Suze. Like, Alana kills that role. Everything that comes out of her mouth is unexpected because yeah. you just don't know. Oh, she's brilliant. It would be so <laughs> fun to just go there and just say the most absurd things. Like, I think I think I would definitely want to play her character. <laughs> I guess I would want to play Astray because, <laughs> you know, because he's allowed it to do so much mm. with such subtlety. Mm. And he's sort of like always that dude, he's your good, He's not the A personality, he's a good B or C. He's, a, he's laying in the cut. Mm. He's like watching a lot. He's doing so much with uh -huh. just, you, you see the whole story going out on his face. Yes. And you, sometimes you're, you're holding your breath sometimes in scenes. You're like, oh my God, what is he gonna do? Because right. he's not predictable as well. But he's still a kid. Which right. is still, so you do see the kid sometimes, but then you see this unpredictable wild card. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Pretzelmania, can I take your order? Tom Holland recently told us that he wants a cameo on Euphoria. So who should he play? Tom Holland. Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider <laughs> In a fantasy sequence. Hey, you never know what's say It's possible. <laughs> Honestly, I really feel like we just need Spider-Man to come in and save the day. He's Highland's up. <laughs> A crossover episode. Yeah, a crossover. <laughs> Euphoria meets the MCU. <laughs> I don't know how Disney would feel about that, but yeah. <laughs> Are you sure no one else has figured it out? Yeah, I mean, it's not like anybody really pays attention to you. Ouch. 